Hello everyone, I'm Pazuzu the Casual Gamer, and even though I say I'm a casual gamer, I play lots of Siege. I want to say I have a thousand hours in the game, I don't know, but I've played a lot of Siege. And one of the questions I constantly ask myself is, who is a better character, Doc or Rook? That's a question I think a lot of people have, and a lot of people have opinions on. So today in this video, I would like to share my opinion on whether or not Doc or Rook is a better operator. Now these are just my opinions. I am not an esports professional. I don't watch a lot of esports unless I'm like really into it and I have a weekend to get better at the game. But it's just based off my experience, you know, kind of the gold to platinum range of playing. So you have Doc and you have Rook. Doc has his revival stim pistol, his healing pistol, and Rook has his Rook plates. Now, I play on Xbox, which has a very different dynamic than computer, or I, I should say PC. Aiming on Xbox in the way Siege wants you to is the hardest thing about Siege. PC, I think aiming is a lot easier because of the mouse control, um, but I don't play on PC, so I'm stuck with the Xbox version. And this is gonna change. I would say on PC, where headshots are way more likely, I'm just gonna say it right now. My answer is gonna be different than Xbox. It's Doc. Doc's better on, sorry, Doc is better on PC, and Rook is better on Xbox. So let me explain my decision making. Rook's armor plates do not have a counter, neither does Doc's stim pistol. However, when it comes to Doc, you have to be able to see the person or yourself to stim yourself or the other person, which means that if you get downed but not out, someone has a chance to dock you. But the thing is, is most people when they're playing Siege, when they die, the attacker has the opportunity to then kill you quite easily with all the different gadgets and soft floors and positionings and things like that. But when it comes to Rook, it adds an extra bullet or two that you can take when you're in a gunfight and always puts you in the down but not out state. And that I think is the most important point. While Doc can revive you with the stim pistol, Rook can always make it so you're downed and it adds how many bullets you can take. On PC, I think Doc's better because I think headshots are much, much higher rate on PC. But when it comes to Xbox, it's the Rook armor that has to stay. Rook armor, I think, is just better on Xbox because aiming for the head on Xbox is harder to do, especially when you're moving around, dodging, weaving, and all that. Now, the reason why I came to this decision was because Doc's ability also takes him out of a gunfight because you have to pull the stim pistol while Rook's ability is counterless. You just put it down and they take it. Doc's ability, the way that you counter him is you get him stuck in a gunfight. I, I know he said his ability is counterless. What I mean is for most people, if you get him in a gunfight, their ability is countered. And Doc's is just a, another ability that is counterless except for the gunfight. And most people on um, on Xbox, if they kill you, I mean, they're gonna kill you anyways because since aiming on Xbox sucks, um, the people, you know, if that guy runs up to kill you, it's hard to hit a moving target on Xbox. You're screwed as Doc. Doc can revive himself, but the the pistol, the stim pistol versus the armor, just on Xbox because of aiming and how hard it is to get those headshots. You know, you would think, because it's hard to get headshots, that the dog pistol would be better. But, because of that, um, when you are actually dead, then it's fine to just kill you. I mean, accuracy goes back up, and the doc has to run around, and it's just the way that he does it. I know I just, like, pop my camera brighter, because I felt like it. So, that's my reasoning, is Rook basically kind of it helps on Xbox because aiming is harder on Xbox while Doc helps on PC because if someone does go down you will be fine and the Rook armor is kind of useless because uh, headshots are insta kills. So I would love to know what you guys think in the comments below. This is all my opinions and I'm I like the Siege community because there's so many different ways of looking at operators that I'm I might change my I could change my mind with a comment. That's how awesome this game is and how much how deep the meta goes and how much fun it is. So, guys, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I'll see you in the next episode of Stream Vlog or Steam It Post of whatever I decide to make.